story time all at the same time so i'm not going you know i'm not going to talk too much because i really am hungry but before we get into the video mm -hmm, subscribe subscribe to this channel hit that bell so you're notified every time i post a video make sure you give me a big thumbs up and tell me what's your favorite seafood whether it be fish shrimp oysters clams you know all that good stuff well without further ado Let's get into the video. Oh, oh, I, I I don't have no bib or none of that, but I have this apron right here that I made, home economics class. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this apron on and it got my name on it, period. And I have my own butter sauce that I made right here. Nothing special, you know, but it's mine, so yeah. So I have some snow crab legs, some corn, some potatoes, egg and shrimp and i have my good um juicy juice right here on the side not the actual juicy juice but some juice right here on the side but it's a seafood mukbang and a story time so the story time is going to be the time that we thought my brother got kidnapped now you guys i i apologize if i'm not talking as much because Crab legs is like my favorite thing in the whole entire world. Anybody that knows me, for real, for real, will tell you that. Mm. I'm going to apologize ahead of time for any smacking. Because mm -hmm. that's going to happen. And I'm, I'm sorry. But the time we thought that my brother got kidnapped right mm. so we were at my graduation from high school that is and you know we're all just like having a good time woo woo my has graduated everybody's so happy so proud and you know the graduation is over so at this point, everybody's, you know, going outside, taking pictures, yada, yada, whoop, the whoop, the whoop. And if you don't know me, then I have a big family. I have a very big family. So I had a lot of family members that were there. Some of them, you know, rode together. Others, you know, rode in their own cars and such and such. And I have two aunts on my mom's side, right? So one of the aunts, she was still there with me. And the other one was like, she was going to leave early. Oh, man, I'm shaking the camera. So I have two aunts on my mom's side, right? One of them was still there, you know, taking pictures or whatever. And the other one was like, well, I'm just going to head, you know, to the house. And, you know, because I'm there's too many people here. I'm sick of being here i was honestly sick of being there right so we were just like oh okay we'll see you in a minute because of course me the graduate i had to stay there and wait for anybody that wanted to take a picture that wasn't going to come to my graduation party so that's what that's what i'm doing at um still at the school right so it's just i don't, I don't know how many of us was left at the school but I know me, my mom, my dad, aunt and uncle, and I think my granddad, I think so. I don't really know. But, you know, we're all getting ready to go. And I'm, of course, one of the last people. And Josiah, my brother that y'all know that's in a lot of the videos all of the time, I saw him. But I haven't seen my brother BJ. If y'all don't know BJ, BJ... 
he's a loner. He's not really for all of this that I be having going on, right? So, everybody's like, where's BJ? Where's BJ? Where's BJ? At this point, I feel like everybody went into like a panic mode. Because I'm not saying that it's not, like, it doesn't happen where I'm from. But you never know. All of these people, like, from out of town was there. We don't know these people. Could have been anybody. Could have been child molesters, you know, all of that. And the boy ain't nowhere to be found. So we're in a frenzy. We're in a panic looking for him running around the school. Running down to the football field and the dugouts on the baseball field, looking everywhere for him. We about we about put out an amber alert. Because where is he? He was literally just here. And now nobody don't know where he's at. So now, after we done searched the whole school, we're calling and calling and calling and calling it right. They're calling people, right? Um, is BJ with you? Have you seen BJ? Have you seen BJ? Everybody we calling is like, no, mm -mm. I haven't seen him. You know, really, he was he was at the school. That's what everybody kept saying. He's at the school, and we, us that's at the school is like, he's not at the school. We already told y'all he's not at the school. Y'all keep trying to tell us he's at the school. He's not at the school. So now we've called everybody that we can think of. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This coin, thank you, Lord. Mm. We called everybody, right? Oh, yes, we thought we did. But we really did forget about the aunt that had come home already. You know, she was literally the last person that I can remember, the last person that we called. And then she was like, <coughs> kick yourself in the back of the throat, why don't you? <coughs> we called and she was just like, oh yeah. And this was before, you know, my brothers didn't have phones or whatever. Because they were too young. But we called her and she was just like, oh yeah, BJ came with me. What? So he wasn't, just, he wasn't gonna tell nobody. He going with you. He just going to hop in your car and be like, well, I'll see them when they get home. No, sir, that's not how it works. You have to tell somebody. Because now we out here thinking somebody done kidnap you. Child, he didn't get in trouble. But everybody that was at that school that was looking for him, when they saw him, they were like, all right, now, nah, don't, don't do that no more, okay? So funny, right? At the time, it wasn't funny. It was really scary. And I really thought, like, my brother had got kidnapped. Come on. Mm -mm, I don't like these. They just breaking up too much. I like my um, crab meat to come out whole. But, yeah. The boy been at the house this whole time. And honestly, we should have called that aunt first. Because they're kind of like, they don't really like people like that. They don't like to be around people. Similar to myself, but you know, it was my graduation show. I had it be hospitable, to say the least. But, child. And I know a lot of y'all might be like, dang, she is, e -e -e. she really, you know, enjoying it. But I'm from Florida, baby. Anybody from Florida know, when it comes to seafood, we really gets down, which it gets down, you know? And I know that story wasn't, oop, mm-mm. That story wasn't really long, but I had to tell y'all, because it'd be things, like references I might make to my brothers and stuff, but it involves a story time sometimes. I don't want to tell the story when the reference is being brought up, but so y'all already know. But the boy, we thought he got kidnapped, you know. 
Thought it was a goner. But that was back in 2016. They have phones now. Mm. Let's read the fact on the Snapple cap. The nothingness of a black hole generates a sound in the key of B flat. <laughs> Yo, these facts that be on Snapple be really throwing me. It really do. Let's get into this egg, shall we? And it's, it's something about this onion and garlic. I mean, wait. Yeah. Onion and garlic in this sauce for me. Mm. Mm. And every time I have seafood, I make it. And if y'all don't know, I'm a pescatarian. Also, the only thing I really can eat is seafood, you know, other than fruits and vegetables. But I did make a little mini video for uh, my TikTok and it's on my IGTV little thing. So y'all follow me on my social media to see the actual day one. Well, it was not day one because I started on New Year's Eve. But the first meal that I've shown like my followers and things like that was today, which was a smoothie bowl. But go check it out. Mm. I'm so happy right now. I'm so... I'm so happy. But, you know, I didn't really prepare anything other than or other story time. I thought it was going to be a little bit longer than that. But it really wasn't. And I'm, I'm going to eat until I can't eat anymore, so... We'll see how that goes because I just ate an egg and I ate a uh, potato already. And nibbling on this corn. And y'all know with seafood, mukbangs, or just seafood in general, the other stuff that they serve with it is to get you full. So you don't think like, dang, I ain't got no crab legs. Yeah, because, you know, you ate all the other stuff. And I've been eating crab legs, you know, since I can remember. And in Florida, look, you learn early how to um, eat crab legs and crack crab legs because they'll tell you, look, look, baby, I'm not about to be sitting here and um, cracking all your crabs for you, baby. You're going to have to learn how to do it on your own. And that is true. Can't be whining and crying. When nobody don't want to break your crab legs for you. Especially as an adult. Now you come on now. Get with the program or get gone. I'm not about to sit here and crack all these crab legs for you if you don't know how to eat them for real, for real. And people, they be let me just go ahead and get into another topic, which is people that really don't know how to eat seafood really blows me on the internet. Right? Cause you you see this little piece that I had right here, right? Even though it it is a lot to eat seafood, right? <laughs> Excuse me. So if you don't want to go through that, don't don't eat it. Don't buy it. Don't do that. Because you're going to be even more frustrated. Just trying to eat, okay? Second, these little pieces of the crab legs, right? These, they small, but they have meat in it. You see, it might not be a lot, but look. Don't throw all y'all money in the trash. Look at this. Meat right here just came out. And my hands is clean. Don't don't be coming up on my video talking about, wow, she's just dipping all in that butter and she's doing this. It's mine. I can do that. Jeez. Now, but I don't say that when y'all be having them acrylic nails and y'all don't clean from under them, but y'all eating um ribs and you got barbecue sauce off. Ain't nobody saying nothing to y'all then. So don't say nothing to me now. My nails is clean. My hands is clean. And it's my butter. I'm the only one eating out of it. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What I really do though, I wanted to do this video, but I wanted to have the um seafood connect um butter sauce. And I think they have it in Charlotte and somewhere else. But when I went on the website, they was all out of, they were sold out. When I say uh, everything, child, they were sold out. And I wasn't mad because I was like, dang, people must really like this sauce. But I, I couldn't wait no more to do this. I really wanted this. I really did. Mm. 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 You know, stuff so good, so you just dance, you're just like, mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And Seafood, right? It's the only food that you will ever see me eat right here. I'm going in. Stuff is getting everywhere. Kind of missing, you know. But it's the only one you will ever see me doing this. Mm. Look at that meat. <laughs> Mmm. <clears throat> A little spicy. Mmm. That was so good. Mmm. Yeah, these, these, this part right here with the claw on it, baby. That jump hurts. Um, I, I don't, ooh. If, um, you know, if you have weak teeth, I don't recommend you just doing what I just did. But, yeah. You gotta get it. You have to get that meat out of there. And I don't, I don't need no, um, um, none of them cracker things. That they be having that um red lobster. And come on now, I can't fit my finger up in there to get that meat out. That ain't gonna work. But yeah, there we go. There we go. Them little them little cracker things that they be having at um at these restaurants. Baby, I don't need all that. God gave me these great teeth. I don't know if he gave it to me to crack on crab legs like this, but that's what I'm going to use it for. And I know. <clears throat> Oops. It's okay. I clean it up afterwards. I know that when I'm done with this, baby, I'm going to sleep. Taking a nap. Yes, it's almost time for bed. But after a big meal like this, sometimes I need a pre-nap to go into bed. I really do. Oh, if you have um, if you have veneers or I think that's what them things is called, I don't recommend um doing that with your teeth either. You might want to um. Get you a little crab cracker and the little fork that they use to get um all the meat out of there. <laughs> you might want to use that because I don't want you to um you know mess up your new expensive teeth because I know them teeth cost a lot of money. I know they do, bam, 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 bam. I know y'all see that. It kind of falling apart, so this is what I'm gonna do right here. Uh oh, come on now. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm 
just like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you know what? I'm even though I love I love seafood and I love crab legs, I'm not I'm not the type of person that I can eat it all the time. Like one day is good for me once a month, I feel like, me personally. Not that it's expensive, but after a while, if I eat too much, I feel sick. Mm -mm. And I don't want to feel that. Don't need to feel that. You know, you don't ever want to eat too much, you know, onion or garlic. So, baby, what you put in your body comes out, and most of the time, be coming out through your pores. So, even if, you know, you're a clean person, you washing all of that good stuff, baby, it's going to come right out your pores, and you're going to be smelling like garlic and onions. And you're going to be wondering why nobody don't want to be around you. Baby, stop eating all that garlic and onion every single day. Hmm. Let me stop because this is my last corn. And I don't got no more corn after that. And I would have had more crab legs, but... I, I had to share it with my mom. That would just be so trifling of me to be out here enjoying in this seafood goodness. And I not make none for my mama. So, and yes, I cooked this. Didn't buy it. Well, I brought it, you know. Like, went to the store. I got the corn, got the potatoes. It was already some eggs here, and then I brought the crab legs. But I didn't buy it already cooked. I had to cook it myself. And, I, of course, my other brother, um, my other brothers aren't here right now. The only one that's here is BJ, and he don't like crab legs. So I just made him some shrimp and some potatoes and corn. And my dad is at work, so, yeah. Sorry. But not really. Mm, mm. Y'all know that song by Demi Lovato? Um, Baby, I'm sorry. Not sorry. That's how I feel. Like, I'm sorry that you miss out. But, look, baby. At the same time. No, not really. Not not really at all. What what y'all like in y'all um seafood boils? Comment that down below in the uh oh, come on onion. Come on, onion. Down below. Down below in the comment section. Comment your favorite part of the seafood boil. Whether it be the egg, the um... Crab leg, the corn, potato, shrimp. Could be clams, oysters, whatever you like. Leave that down below. Because. I don't think that I really had, um, what you call it? 
clams or oysters before. I had calamari. That's squid, though. I think. They must have, they must have had to fight these crabs because god dang. These bad boys don't want to come open. I'm sorry, y'all. I know I'm staring off into space, but I'm trying to... Ooh. Trying to focus on this without um cutting myself. Oh yeah, you gotta be careful eating um crab legs because these shells can be really sharp. And you will. You will. No if, ands, or buts about it. You will cut yourself. I've done it on numerous occasions and was crying because now I can't enjoy the boil like I want to because we either have, you know, lemon or the seasonings, you know, getting your cut or whatever. Or now, you got to wear a glove. I, I'm not one of them um, bougie, hasidity people where I got to wear the gloves like they do at the restaurants. When I'm at home, eating grab legs. I ain't gonna lie, I think I'm really feeling the um itis coming along here. Um Yeah. I think that's what I'm starting to feel because all of a sudden my eyes felt like a little hood on top of them. I mean And the sun's starting to go down. Whenever the sun go down, I always get sleepy. I get tired. I might not go to sleep, but I mean, I ain't tired. Mm. And you ever had that feeling like, am I full? Am I not full? I really don't know. That's how I feel. That corn is disrespectful. Mm. I just realized. Mm. That this is my first video of the new year. I posted one. On New Year's Eve, as y'all know, if y'all don't know, y'all need to go check that video out. But it was my recap of 2020. Mm. And y'all, I ain't gonna say I had a hard time filming that video, but when I had to honestly sit down and think back on some things, I was just like, hmm. That's sad. That's real sad. But it's not like I have wanted, you know, nobody to be sad for me or anything. Uh, remember when I told y'all the Lord was trying to tell me to be patient? Got an interview tomorrow, Lord. Thank you. Got an interview. So... Stop telling God what you have planned for yourself and let him show you his plan, okay? Honestly, y'all, um, I might think that I am full. I'm, I'm going to finish this one off because I already started. But I think y'all saw what I did just now. Be careful, sweetie. Be very careful, because this can cut your tongue, too. Crabs are defenders, okay? 
they got to defend themselves when they be down there in that ocean. I mean, they got the claws, but these things right here, baby, they defend us even when they done got cooked. Or when they cooked. Because got cooked, ain't that ain't it. That's not, that's not it, baby. But it's going to cut your tongue if you slice it, pull it too fast like that. Mm-hmm. Cut all up. Then you won't be able to enjoy no food. Crab would be like, oh, yeah, baby, you thought you was going to eat me? And I wasn't going to do nothing about it? Cut your tongue. Okay, there's nothing in there. And sometimes it, it's not nothing in there. Okay? Oh, people. Before I get off, because you're trying to see me eat this. It's meat in here. Stop throwing this away. Because it's meat inside of here, okay? Ooh. Making a mess. Just making a mess. But, y'all, I think that that's going to be it for this video. If you want to see more mukbangs on this channel, comment that down below in the comments. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you're notified whenever I post a video. Till next time, guys. Peace.